All right, guys, so this meeting you're about to see is a meeting we had with a company called Music Matters. They're an agency, part of a couple other different agencies. They do a lot of music festivals and stuff in the past, but then since COVID, they've got a lot of production equipment that they had sitting on the side. They've come up with some new stuff to do with it. Very heavy in AR and uh, augmented reality and XR, which is basically VR experiences. Uh, so it's something we're looking to get heavy into here at BitBoy Crypto, along with Meta Money, doing virtual studios, virtual sets, all that kind of thing, uh, as their, our production department continues to grow and expand. So they came in, we didn't really know what they had to offer, they didn't really know what we had to offer, so this is kind of a discovery meeting you're gonna see between us and them, just talking about ideas and potential things you might see unrolling here in the future. So let us know what you think. Well, we have kind of our crew that's around, but first and foremost, thanks for making time. Yeah, for sure. Um, we were, this all started, I reached out to Heather. Mm -hmm. First off, we're fans and we watch regularly, and I was like, you know, let's try. We're, we're nearby, we're neighbors on the other side of town. Yeah. Uh, so I was able to get Heather's contact information, reached out to her, or an email, this and that, and she's like, yeah, I think there's an appetite to get together. Probably where a lot of this will go is discovery, right? I mean, we're. Yeah. It's extremely new, all of this metaverse stuff. And creating We're all here trying to figure this out together. Right, right. creating content mm -hmm. in the metaverse, we're all figuring that out. And then what kind of content, what kind of experiences make sense, you know, what platforms are available, where can you do them, you know, what users want different things in different platforms. Like, we're all figuring that out. It right seems like what's hot right now is not what'll be hot next month. I'm no, sure, and especially not two years from now, yeah, you yeah. know. And, and we all know there's big investments sometimes in building out some of these experiences, so you, we have to kind of be ahead of that trend. Yeah. And so that's part of what we were talking, you know, our sandbox stuff we started a year and a half ago. You know, now it's hot. Now it's time, you know, like we've been- Well, here's our, our guy that creates our avatars and is building, like we've got a professional Minecraft builder, you know, that's doing a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. He, he was charging at first like $500 to create an avatar. These avatars will eventually become NFTs and we'll recoup that money back, you know, 100X. But in a year, he's gone from $500 an avatar, he's able to charge $5,000 an avatar now. You know, that's, that's how much things have changed since we started building in there. It's gonna be a huge arm of our business yeah. for sure. Yeah. The more work we're doing now with folks like you, we're the better prepared we're all going to be yeah. when that when that's ready to go live. And I think yeah. that's what's going to bring all yeah. this together. I think I think we we've got all the pieces here. I think you pretty much just said it right there. The collaboration of putting your resources and our right. resources together, I think, yeah. will be best for what you guys are trying to achieve and best for what we're trying to yeah. achieve. So he mentioned some of the other channels. Hit Network. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if you've seen yeah. that one. That's where that's our behind the scenes channel. Right. So I think the angle here. The, I think the number one play is to start to build out specific environments, you know, ba a basic environment. It might even just be, it might be this building. Maybe this, you know, maybe we build Hit Network mm -hmm. in the metaverse and it becomes its space. And, you know, NFT Alpha has a spot in it, MetaMoney has a spot in it, BitBoy has a spot in it, and we've got a base uh, place where we can yeah. drive people. Oh, that was my other question. How easy is it to get this? I guess it's a video file, so you can stream it to Discord, no problem, or? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if we can get it into Discord, you're talking about getting an audience mm -hmm. to community, we can start saying like, here's our place in the metaverse for everybody to yeah. go to and interact. We've got a big, we've got the music angle. We wanna move into that angle with the NFT stuff. So maybe we do a collaborative show on the Hit Network channel, Music Matters, talking about artists and music getting into the metaverse, yeah. talking about you guys' technology, how you guys are helping all of us get into the metaverse, how you can create, basically it becomes your content pillar for mm -hmm. marketing your services, what yeah. you can do as it gets into the metaverse, and it creates conversations yeah. with, we could have artists on there as interviews, it could be yeah. you and I, or the three of us, or something, it'd be a collaborative based yeah. show that we shoot here, produce here, that basically talks about the Hit Network services and the Music yeah. Matters services, as we're doing it here in this building. Sure. And then we exactly. become the examples of like, look at this amazing stuff right. they can do. And yeah. then, you know, it's good advertising for you guys on the music side, right. it gives us content to talk about, you know, I think it checks all of those boxes. Yeah. And once we've got the environment built to his idea, it's pretty easy to add a layer of the buildings on fire, or add a layer of like, it's a, it's a sponsored takeover of the hit factory and this, and you know, we've got our own right. little environment. We're, we're still talking about other metaverses as they get there, but realistically, I think building your own environment is gonna be the key for the next probably 12 to 18 months to get content going mm -hmm. and getting people creating custom experiences and before we see the platforms really yeah. kind of take hold. So yeah. 
That's where my head's at for a, for a collaboration. I think that's a really good opportunity for all of us. We could, I think you guys could get us to the, like we're going to do this kind of content. We've been on this track. That's why yeah. we bought this building. That's why we've got that Studio right. A. I think with your experience basically and bandwidth of having all that production mm -hmm. experience and people, you can get us there faster than yeah. we would get there ourselves and we can get you connected to that audience yeah. faster than you can. Everybody's going to want to know how we're doing it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. we could just keep coming back to you guys. Oh, they're and powered by music yeah. matters or powered yeah. by whatever you yeah. want to brand it. We know we have people there that don't really get access to us. So, but that's why I want an event. Right. Right? That's why I want us to have an environment in the metaverse. Right. Because when we go places, it's great. We can pull right. 500 here, 500 right. there, but if right. we were doing them online, pulled 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, you know, and it builds and builds and builds. I think this technology lends itself where people would start to feel immersed or part of something from their house. Right? Yeah. So whether they're at the event or not, they are part of it. Metaverse or not, you know, it's like, that's that's happening anyway. And I think we want to use this technology in that way. Right, uh, and that's, that's the key. I think you just said it is the, t you can use the technology as the place to build right. the community. Yeah. They need a place to go. Because yeah. I think when we do our meetups, they get value when we're there, obviously, yeah. but they also get tons of value of meeting the right. other people in right. the same 100%. community. Yes. That's right. the bigger value. Yes. They talk before, they talk at, they might get their five minutes to have a conversation, ask a question, they love that, great, right. that's what they're there for. But then they get all night to talk to the new friend that they made there that lives yeah. not too far from them. Yeah. And that's why I wanna get that in the metaverse because we can create that same community. It's not, like they get interactions with us, yeah. but they also- We could organize it, we could do community crew, like, you know, yeah, like they, small groups at a church almost. Yeah, but like right. you, you can, you, oh, you're way into yeah. NFTs, great. Here's the bit squad members yes. into NFTs. You're way into trading, great. Yeah. Go hang out with the Frankie the Candle Mafia. Mafia. You know, that's, so we're trying to create that community. So, so almost, yeah, I like it. I think there's energy yeah. here. Cool, I think, yeah. I, I mean, let's keep in principle, yes, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's do something. I think something. next step, let's put an email together with yeah. We'll some, put a, a video yeah. idea together. Yeah. Some, well, some times yeah. when it makes sense for us to come out and shoot some stuff at your place, we'll put some scripts together, come out and do test, get a you know, feeling for your facility, and then maybe yeah. timeline on how to roll some of this stuff out and cool. go from there. Yeah, thanks for setting up and making some time for us, guys. Hey, thanks yeah. for yeah, We good. appreciate it. I mean, you guys are doing really cool stuff. Show yourself off. All right, guys, be in touch. Yeah. Cool. Okay.